But you're one of our top consultants. Oops. This is about money. It's not about money. Just tell me what you need and it's yours. I can give you more vacation oh, he needs time, her. up to the company's 401k contribution. That's all very generous of you, but I've made my decision. And I can do whatever it takes to really help the company transition more smoothly. Well, I gotta say, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand. And I wish you well. Can I That's ask a nice boss. Going? Is it McKinsey or Deloitte? It's Deloitte, isn't it? I'm actually quitting consulting altogether. And I'm going to take some time off to really figure out what I want to do. But whatever it is, I know it's going to involve dance. That's actually my passion. Dance? <laughs> That's a good passion. It sounds crazy, leaving a job like this for something like that. But I really think I can make it work. You know, maybe even start a company that revolves around my passion. I don't think it sounds crazy at all. In fact, I was going to say that I really respect that. It takes a lot of courage to walk away and chart your own path. Also, I think people who fully commit to their passion always do well. Really? 100%. That's true. I think what you're doing is really admirable. In fact... What are you doing? One sec. Here what is, is he doing? a little something to get you started. This is so Who does kind that? of you, but ten thousand dollars? I don't even have an idea. Who does yet. that, bro? That's in an he's idea. a goat. I'm investing in a person, someone who I believe in very much. I don't know what to say. I've Thank never you. seen anyone do that. It's like really the generosity, to to man. It's all the way up here. You will always have a job here if you want it, but. After having worked with you and seen what you're capable of, I doubt you'll need it. Go make us proud. Oh no. <laughs> Papa, I know you're still upset with me and you don't support my decision, but I just want you to know that. What a savage. Just ran away. Bro, why does she have like an old iPhone? I don't think I've ever seen you here in the middle of the week. You used to do weekends, right? Yeah, I just left my job though, so my schedule's pretty open. Oh, nice. So are you taking any other classes? No, but I want to. It's just so hard finding the right ones in the area. I mean, half of them don't have websites, and even if they do, they don't list the pricings or even the schedule on there. I think I had like, what, 30 tabs open, and I still couldn't find the right one. It's crazy. Yeah, that's so true. I was on my laptop looking for some the other day, and I literally ran into the exact same problem. Yeah, they should have something like open table for dance classes. Exactly. Oh, you she know, might be the first one to do that, it. I'd use it. Anyways, I'll see you later. Everything okay? Yeah, amazing, actually. I think I figured out what I want to do. Finally. I told your mother that you would be back to your senses soon. Nah, you didn't say shit. But the good news is, Raju uncle knows someone who works at that company. Uh, what's the name of that company? McKenzie. McKinsey? What? That only. Okay, but no, I was talking about my business. I think I want to create something where people can find and try dance classes. But what's wrong with the way they find them now? You go to classes all the time. I know, but there's so much research that goes into that. There's so many different websites it looks like she's out onto there something. and so much information posted everywhere. So to fix that, I'm going to make one site where everything is listed and people can just browse with no hassle. And tell me, how is that supposed to make money? Hmm? Well, it I will. haven't figured out all the details yet. <laughs> But I can partner with different dance studios and instructors and have them list their classes on the site, just like Open Table. And whenever someone signs up, I can make a cut. 
Uh, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Hmm? Oh, no. But, um, there is just one thing, though. Of course, there's always a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've already Savage. sketched out the business plan. And to make it work, I need to go all in. What do you mean? I mean... A basic infrastructure is not enough. I need investors and contacts, and I need to be around tech people. And in order to do that, I've decided to move to the city. New York? First, New, New York. York, and now this? Do you see what you have done? Hmm? Now enjoy explaining this to the rest of the family because I won't be the one to do it. Listen. I won't do it. At least wait to see what she has to say. Hmm. What the hell? Why can't you commute from here? This is where you grew up. This is where our whole family is. I know. But if I want to be taken seriously... You're going to have to do I that. I need to be around the contacts and the capital. We might That's have true. late nights and early morning meetings and I need to be hustling 24-7. But New York is such a big move. What if you move and this fails? Then you can go back. I know it's risky, but sometimes you have to do big things to make something of yourself. What if Sheryl Sandberg never leaned in? And what if Beyonce never left Destiny's Child and went solo? That type of success, Beta, is so rare. For every one of those stories, there are thousands who never make it. But why don't you start small? But you can and be the thousand. Works, then you can move. It's all or nothing. I don't need anything from you guys. All I want is your blessing. You're putting me in a very bad situation with your father. Yeah, because they're going to have fights now. But you're the only one who can convince him. So please. You better call us every day. And if you ride the public transportation, do not talk to strangers. And you cannot walk alone at night and wear your purse like Chill. this. Chill. I promise I'll do whatever you want. Ah, you're the best. Thank you. I'm going to start packing. <laughs> what the hell? With her parents' blessings, All right. or at least one of theirs, <laughs> Pyle moves into the city. Yo, good shit, man. Move to the city get rich before long she finds herself in a new apartment she meets new dance instructors and makes connections she needs to get her new company class pass off the ground bro man she's Everything balling falls into place and goes exactly according to her business plan Within a few months, she's optimistic the company will be successful and she's more inspired than ever about the future. When she explains the idea of ClassPass, a website that allows you to sign up for different classes online, everyone she talks to seems excited to try it. But despite everyone's oh no. initial enthusiasm, she quickly learns that people are looking for classes, but not signing up for any. Why not? Without any class reservations, the business model doesn't work. It doesn't take long for people to lose interest in class pass, no matter how much Pyle sells them on it. She starts to feel like a total failure. Keep After trying. spending all her time and money pursuing her passion, she begins to think that her parents may have been right. Okay, I, I see it, but I just don't understand what more I can do. Hey, Pa. Please don't tell me you're here with more bad news. I just can't take it. I just want to say the investors are here. Oh. oh, um, okay, can you please give us a minute? Yeah. Ooh. Miss Katakia, thank you so much for making time to see us. Of course, please. We just wanted to meet in person to go over some of the data. We received the analytics from your team, and after reviewing everything, 
we have some concerns. Right. Um, we've done everything by the book. We engaged the press to get more media traction. We ensured our website has a more user-friendly interface. We've been focused on growing our email list. But where we're having trouble is converting all of these into reservations. But I'm sure it's not that That's bad of a we problem. Were afraid of. And um, based on the numbers today, we're not gonna be able to meet our projections. And... And? And we're gonna need an additional investment if we want to stay in business. Did you guys say no? Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be possible. At least not until the website traffic translates to booking. Based on the data, I don't think that's going to happen. But I have employees to support and overhead and... Yeah, but you're going to have to like, around, you know... We need that additional investment. Look, our hands are tied. Sometimes these things don't pan out the way we think they will. Even with the perfect business plan and doing everything by the book. But you guys will lose your money if we fail. So isn't it better troubleshooting this now than cutting all your losses? That's the nature of the game. Take a lot of shots, and most of them miss. But every now and then, you do get that one special unicorn. It makes all of the misses worth it. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. We see this all the time. You're smart, you'll land on your feet. You could always go back into consulting. We'll check back in with you in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, she has a couple weeks. Up and maybe think about getting a backup plan. Okay, that's scary. Yeah, let's go. Savage. Oh no, that dream from the beginning. Bro, these alarm clocks are annoying as hell, man. No. Doorbell, this might be the chance. Papa? What are you doing here? You promised your mom that you would check in every day. You haven't answered any of our calls. We are worried about you. Oh, yo, she Wait, should have done Mama that. Here? No, she doesn't know that I'm here. What's going on, Veda? Hmm? Why are you avoiding us? You were right. My entire company is a failure. What are you talking about? Your mother said everything is going well. Yeah, it was in the beginning. But the model is just not sustainable, and I've tried everything from email blast to even offering free classes, but nothing's working, and I can't figure out why. Damn, the attitude. What's the real problem, Beta? I can get people on the website, but no one's signing up for the classes. Maybe you did and something stupid. we need stupid. to make reservations in order to make a profit. And I just don't get it because people were so excited and then I spent months working on this and all my savings, all for what? Fine. And I know I should have just listened to you guys, stayed at my job and went to grad school and settled down. So I know what you're here to say. So please just say it so we can get it over with. Say what? That you told me so? That this was a waste of time and money and that this I don't whole think he's thing here was for a that. mistake and I should have just, just listened to stayed him. at home. That's not what I was going to say. Then what? You shouldn't give up. What? What? But 
I thought you didn't support this and that I was wasting my time and that you were disappointed. Yes, I was, but, but not with you. I was disappointed because this isn't the path I imagined for you. I just wanted you to have a good, stable job without ever having to worry. Then what changed? After seeing how far you have come and how happy you have been. I realized it was selfish of me that I ever want you to do something that you didn't love. That's it's true. It's not what I would have chosen, but it's your life. And I will support you in whatever you want to do with it. Really? You really mean that? Of course. You are my daughter. What the hell happened to him, man? Is he the same man? <laughs> Did he get hit in the head or something? But I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter now because I still failed. For your kind information, failure is a data point, not an end point. Whoa. Yeah. You think I bought you all those business school books and never read any of them? If you are really passionate about something, you just need to keep going. I want to. I really do, but I don't think I can find a solution before money runs out. If anyone can, it's you. This is your company. You know it better than anyone else. I know, but that I've is been true. through the data and the spreadsheets like a million times and I just can't figure out a way. Then go over them a million and one times. You should just keep trying. But what if it doesn't work out? Then you pick yourself back up like this and keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Because a wise girl once told me, if you follow your passion, you will eventually succeed. And is this that the same wise man? girl is standing right in front of me. Thanks. But I think I was just naive. That's not true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it wasn't a good idea, you never would have made it this far. You never would have gotten true. those investors, partners, or customers. And I wouldn't be standing here. He's on to something. I'm a very, very busy man. <laughs> This guy's onto something. What if I let everyone down again? Don't say that, Veda. Please. I believe in you. Everyone else believes in you. Now you just have to believe in yourself. And keep trying, keep, keep trying, trying, keep, keep trying. trying. Besides, your mother has already informed the entire family on a WhatsApp chat group that you are a big tech entrepreneur. Hmm. Now. We can't have you going back to consulting, can we? Can we? No. <laughs> okay. Then. Okay, this is a good Let's dad, all man. Take out or I take if that back. I have to be in the city. I might as well eat something that your mother wouldn't let me have at home. <laughs> 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 something really good. Okay. Pile is once again excited to go after her dream. Dang. After thinking long and hard about ClassPass's analytics and what went wrong, Pyle comes up with a new solution. She introduces a subscription-based model with a flat fee, allowing customers the options of trying different types of classes every month. Okay. When she pitches a new concept to different instructors around town, they all seem to love it and are excited to try it out. The new business model turns out to be a major hit. Customers begin buying Dude. monthly subscriptions and class reservations start to skyrocket. ClassPass experiences unprecedented growth. As the years pass, Dude. Pyle and the investors couldn't be happier. Since launching her new model, ClassPass has partnered with over 30,000 studios in 28 different countries. Fortune the hell? Magazine included Pyle in their 40 under 40 list, and she has become one of the most successful female entrepreneurs of all time. 
Several years later, she even launched her own book to inspire others to follow Dang. their passions. Here you go. I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much. Well, it seems my investment panned out. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you were coming. Oh no, I wanted to surprise you. I saw an article about your book coming out and I just couldn't resist. Well, I don't think there would have been a book if it wasn't for my first investor. No, no, I'm sure it has all to do with your hard work and the support of your parents. You must be so proud. Yes, we are. She is a shining star in the whole Indian community. I get messages every day on WhatsApp. Okay, okay, you don't gotta show off. Her. Okay, okay, we Thank get it, we get always it. Always supporting our daughter. Of course. I don't know what my parents are more proud of, the fact that I sold my company or that I married a lawyer. Nick, meet my old boss from consulting who wrote me my first investment. Nice to meet you. If you ever have another idea for a company, please come to me first. <laughs> Will do, I appreciate that. Well, I don't want to hold the line up. It was lovely meeting you all. We'll chat. Bye. Man, she's really balling now. Hey there, cutie. This is Bria. She's your biggest fan. And she does Indian dance, too. Is that so? Used to, not anymore. Why not? Some kids at school have been making fun of me and calling me names. You know, when I was younger, I got made fun of for doing Indian dance, too. You did? Yeah, especially this one kid. Sorry, I had to take that. Hey, I'm Billy, Priya's dad. Nice to... Oh, so she's like Wait, a mix. Why do you look so familiar? Billy from Fernbrook Elementary? Oh, he oh made fun gosh. of her. You're that pile? Dang. Is, is this the same Billy? I just want to say that I am so sorry. Dang. It's all right. He has you a daughter now. In fact, and that daughter I thanking you. is Indian thanking soul. Half Indian soul. But I was so soul. mean to you. Joke's on you, buddy. You, I stayed motivated you made fun of someone who you after my fucking married. Dang. For years, I have felt so bad about who I used to be. And now it seems like everything's coming full circle because kids are bullying my Priya at school. You know Man, what? You should have thought about that. Don't let that. it get you down. Just keep doing what you love and don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Thanks, but it's more than just that. I auditioned for our team and didn't make it. I'm also not very good. Just keep trying. If there's one thing I know for sure, if you follow your passion, it will eventually lead to success. And if you need any proof of that, exhibit A. <laughs> I didn't always believe that, but now I know it's true. Maybe I'll keep trying then. Thanks for the advice. Well, if you ever need any reassurance, just read my story and I hope it will inspire you. And I also have my email on my website. Maybe we can dance together sometime. Really? Damn. Why wait till sometime when we can dance right now? Okay, this is a little bit weird, but I'll let it slide because I just feel like I can let stuff slide when I want them to slide when I think it- Hi, I'm Pyle okay, Takia, and this video is inspired by my story, and I hope it's a good reminder that if you follow your passion, it will- All right, but yo, this it, bruh. Let me know what your thoughts are. This was a good shit, Mel. Good shit, good shit. But yo, I gotta go.